what's round, black, and costs just $50 when added to the 2017 Honda Civic C. A Goodyear Eagle F1A symmetric two summer performance tire. Multiply that item by four and you arrive at the optional $200 set of performance shoes that replace the C's standard fitment Goodyear Eagle Sport all season rubber. Honda charges Civic C buyers more for a wireless phone charger or black printed lug nuts. Highs excellent handling, sharp steering, good ride quality, affordable. Lowe's infotainment system could be better we've already seen Honda do it. All season tires beget lesser performance. Predictably, the tires are more consequential, even more so than the C's door count. So while this is our first test of the new Ford's or Civic C, its rolling stock is the focus. With either two doors or four, every C shares the same 205 horsepower turbocharged 1.5 liter inlet for 6 speed manual transmission, limited slip front differential, electronically adjustable dampers, and one of the most satisfying to drive front wheel drive chassis on the market. Both their coupe and the sedan ride on a 106.3 inch wheelbase, the sedan is slightly longer overall, thanks to a larger rear overhang but weighs only 32 pounds more on our scales. That leaves the tires as the cleaver that sets apart this C's performance from the summer tire shod coupe we tested earlier this year. This less grippy sedan was a significant 0.4 seconds slower to 60 miles per hour, managing a so-so 6.7 second run. We had trouble getting the front wheels to hook up during the launch and the same deficit in adhesion stretched the car's stopping distance from 70 miles per hour by 17 feet over the coupes. Not surprisingly, skid pad grip plummeted from the two-door Stella 0.97 grams to a humbler 0.88 grams. Ouch! If you're expecting us to blather on about how Honda should make the summer tires standard equipment, cold weather buyers be darned, not so fast. No question. The asymmetric twos unlock the Civic's full potential. Yet, we understand that not every buyer north of the Mason Dixon line wants to invest in a second set of tires for the winter months, even at all because of the C's affordable price point. Still, others might not care for the summer rubber's slightly firmer reactions to road imperfections. One interesting aspect of the all seasons is that they're more playful than the summer tires. Instead of erasing the Civic C's best handling behaviors, their lower limits make them available at slower road speeds. Hit your nearest highway cloverleaf with vigor and the all seasons squeal louder and sooner than the asymmetric twos, yet the C's wonderfully reactive chassis gives the driver more effortless command over which end of the car loosens its purchase on the pavement more. You can easily balance the C through a corner with the throttle, adding some gas to push the nose wide or easing off to tuck it in tightening its line. It's textbook front drive technique, but the C lectures like a 10-yard professor. The rest of the C package is unaffected by the chosen tire, which is to say it is excellent. The same suspension that's nearly capable of matching gravity with cornering grip is bafflingly comfortable, particularly in the Honda's default driving mode. Stab the sport button on the center console, and the dampers firm up slightly. Throttle response sharpens and the computer subtracts some power assist from the steering, requiring the driver to use more effort when making inputs. Other than the spicier throttle behavior, sport mode seems superfluous, so good is the C in its standard form. Similar to Volkswagen's GTI, the C also is a wholly capable everyday conveyance. Interior noise levels at steady speeds are about the same as in a regular Civic and the front sport seats are well bolstered and comfortable without being overly confining like the Ford Focus ST's optional Recaro straight jackets. What the little 1.5 litre engine lacks in character it more than makes up for with mid-range punch and efficiency. We notched 42 miles per gallon on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test loop, 4 miles per gallon better than the EPA's highway estimate and averaged 28 miles per gallon overall during 700 miles of driving. Our office is split over whether the two-door coupe or the Ford's or sedan is the better C. The sedan and its better integrated rear spoiler is unquestionably more adult looking than the flamboyant coupe. It's also more useful, with its three cubelager trunk for a total of 15 cubic feet and ample rear head, knee, and legroom.
No matter which Civic C you pick, the price is $24,775 before options and some retires are the only cost option, no paint color choice costs extra. Standard equipment is generous and includes heated front seats, a sunroof, dual zone automatic climate control, a slow responding touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto but still no volume knob, and a digital instrument cluster. You can't option and see with leather or upgraded headlights beyond the standard halogen units, as you can a GTI, but then neither can you spend anything close to the VW's $26,415 base price without going nuts with Honda's accessory catalogue. Skip that nonsense and the C costs less than $25,000 with or without the performance tires. Either way it is highly satisfying. <laughs>